Welcome back to The Psychology of Obesity. In previous videos we started to develop our awareness of the internal forces that cause us to overeat. Today we are going to shift our focus outwardly onto what and how we eat. For this exercise you will need to acquire some raisins. Before we begin, find a place and a time where you can give your full attention to this exercise. So often in life we are pulled in so many directions. Work, family, chores, social responsibilities, and tasks we set for ourselves, that we end up walking through life mindlessly, not really experiencing the moment-to-moment -moment wonders, that is life. Today we are going to slow down, and experience, one of the simplest of things, eating a raisin. And so to begin, take three, deep, cleansing, breaths. Allow the distractions of the day, to melt away, and concentrate on the moment. Now, begin to shift your focus, onto the raisin in your hand. You might first begin to notice its size, how small it looks in your hand. Experience how it feels, the weight, the color. Run your fingers across its ridges. Now close your eyes for a moment, and just feel the raisin in your hand, as your fingers gently touch those ridges again. Does it feel, smooth, or rough, or sticky? Now open your eyes and look at the raisin again. Examine how the light, reflects off the ridges. Experience how this, particular raisin, is uniquely different, from any other raisin, that you might have seen. Look at its structure, its form, is it different on one end from the other? Are there any variations in color, or in tone? Ever gently, apply pressure with your fingers, can you change the shape of the raisin? As you release the pressure, does the raisin return to its ordinal form? How malleable, is the raisin? Does it bend? Now, bring the raisin up to your noise. Can you smell any aroma from the raisin? Now bring it up to your ear, and move it around in your fingers. Can you hear any noise from the raisin? Now bring the raisin up to your lips, and feel the raisin ever gently touching your lips. Can you feel the ridges? Now feel it with your fingers. Is the sensation different than your lips? Now touch it with your tongue. How does that compare to the touching of your lips? Can you feel the ridges more intensely? Now place it in your mouth. And without biting it, explore the raisin again with your tongue and mouth. How does it feel? Notice how your mouth is filling up with saliva with anticipation of eating. Now bite down onto the raisin, two or three times. And allow that liquid to intermingle with the meat of the raisin. And without swallowing the raisin, allow the liquid to rush past the tongue. Experience the flavors of the raisin as you suck the sweet liquid down your throat. Continue to experience the flavors of the raisin. Notice how intense the initial flavor was, and as you continue to suck the juice and pulp from the raisin, that intensity slowly begins to fade, as you are left with only the husk of the raisin in your mouth. Now explore the husk or skin of the raisin with your tongue. Is one side slippery? Can you get any more flavor from the raisin? And when you are ready, gather enough saliva in your mouth so that you can swallow the remains of the raisin. Try to follow its journey, down into the stomach. Can you feel it in your stomach, as your body breaks down all the nutrients in that raisin? That nutrition, rushes to every cell of your body, your arms, your legs, your feet, your head. Filling you up with the goodness, that is, the raisin. Now take a few moments to bring yourself back into the world, the sights, and the sounds, and the smells of everything around you. Take three deep breaths, signaling the end of this exercise. Practice it often with different foods, opening your awareness of what you are eating. I hope you enjoyed this exercise. 
In our next video, we will take what we have learned from this exercise and incorporate it into an entire meal. Until next time then. Thank you for visiting the Psychology of Obesity.